Man is the child of customs, not the child of his ancestors. The past resembles the future. More than one drop of water resembles another. Because of the demand for luxury articles, they become customary and thus come to be necessities. Empires age and decay in the course of three generations. Among the most oppressive measures and the ones most deeply harming society is the compelling of subjects to perform forced work unjustly. All the sciences came to exist in Arabic. The systematic works on them were written in Arabic writing. Business is owned by responsible and organized merchants shall eventually surpass those owned by wealthy rulers. Geometry and light lends the intellect and sets one's mind right. Government is an institution which prevents injustice other than such as it commits itself. Harshness in education pushes children to lie, causing them to act in contradiction to their true selves, fearing punishment and control. History was an endless cycle of flowering and decay, with no evolution or progress except for that from primitive to civilized society. Islam is under obligation to gain power over all nations. It should be known that history is a discipline that has a great number of approach us. Man is essentially ignorant and becomes learned through acquiring knowledge. Nations and races change with the change of periods and the passage of time. Only tribes held together by a group feeling can survive in a desert. People are largely ignorant of the interests of the human species. Sedentary culture is the goal of civilization. It means the end of its lifespan and brings about its corruption. The plague swallowed up many of the good things of civilization and wiped them out. The entire world changed. There is no certainty of victory in war, even when the equipment and numerical strength that cause victory exist. Victory and superiority in war come from luck and chance. Injustice can be committed only by persons who cannot be touched, only by persons who have power and authority. The knowledge that has not come down to us is larger than the knowledge that has. Every realm may have as large a militia as it can hold and support, but no more. In the case of all human qualities, the extremes are reprehensible and the middle road is praiseworthy. Muhammad said, Every infant is born in the natural state. It is his parents who make him a Jew, or a Christian, or a heathen. History, therefore, is firmly rooted in philosophy. It deserves to be accounted a branch of philosophy. 
No one can stand up against the authority of truth. And the evil of falsehood is to be fought with enlightening speculation.